This training video describes the mixed trap cropping, an advanced system offering many pest control benefits. Please watch video part 1 for basic information about trap crops and integrated pest management techniques. Mixed trap crops provide continuous food to target pests for season-long crop protection. Trap cropping is based on the principle of host preference. This attraction can be effective even at short distances. In the following slides, we will discuss mixed trap crops of sunflower and sorghum for managing leaf-footed bugs and stink bugs in tomato production systems. In the mixed trap cropping system, two or more trap crops can be planted at once or sequentially. Trap crops like sunflower and sorghum are generally planted before the main crop so that the seed head is available as an attractive food source to insect pests like leaf-footed bugs and stink bugs. Here are some successful layouts for mixed trap crops. Producers should design their system taking into consideration field, shape, size, trap crops, main crops, knowledge of pest life cycle, and migration patterns. This picture shows Pradovic sunflower and NK300 sorghum planted together in long strips across the field. Sunflower formed the outside rows and sorghum was six feet from the first tomato row. This picture shows sunflower and sorghum planted in alternate fashion. Two rows of sorghum located on either side of sunflower trap crop. Leaf-footed bugs are attracted to the sunflower head first and then move to the sorghum panicles. Notice the close proximity of the tomato plants which were free of leaf-footed. This footage shows various life stages of the leaf-footed bugs on Perdovit sunflower planted. Adult leaf-footed bugs are black or brown with leaf-footed expansions on hind legs. Many species of this insect may be seen in trout crops depending on the location. Nymphs are bright red and lack wings. Brown stink bugs are also attracted to the sunflower seed head. Once the sunflower starts to mature, generally late summer, the leaf-footed bugs begin migrating to the sorghum panicles in large numbers. This footage shows the adult leaf-footed bugs. Every sorghum panicle may have one or more bugs that will continue to feed and mate on the trap crop. Numerous field demonstrations across Alabama have shown significant reduction in leaf-footed bug feeding damage on tomatoes using mixed trap crops in 10 to 15 percent of total area. In this graph, numbers indicate the two peak activity periods of the insect in July and August. Under a moderate pest pressure, one insecticide treatment on sorghum was enough to provide 78% reduction in leaf-footed bugs without treatment of the main crop. In conventional tomato production, labeled synthetic insecticides can be used on sorghum to destroy the adults. Insecticide treatment once a week for two weeks may be sufficient to cause significant reduction in leaf-footed bug numbers resulting in significant cost savings. In organic farming systems, approved insecticides should be applied against the nymphs. Multiple applications of insecticides would be necessary for adequate control. Nymphs can also be removed manually, by hand, or mechanically by using vacuums. Here are some general trap crop recommendations. Always start simple with the trap crops with good knowledge of the target insect pest. Plant a small area of trap crops on good soil for season-long effectiveness. Trap crops are not the silver bullet solution to all pest problems. Close monitoring is essential to the success of this IPM tactic. There are many limitations of trap crop system that can be overcome with experience. For additional information, please refer to these trap crop publications available online. Watch the other videos in the trap crop series for advanced knowledge. Consult a regional extension agent for designing a trap crop system for your farm.